when I decided to visit the Carolina Low Country, I wanted to go as low as you can go. So I started at the southern tip of Hilton Head Island, marveling at the gorgeous canopy of live oak, Spanish moss, towering sea pine, and palmetto. Within the massive gated resort community of sea pines lays the Stony Banner Plantation Ruins. These few walls and foundations are the remains of the Stony Banner Plantation, set within a clearing of lush live oaks, palmettos, swaying Spanish moss, and pines. Spanish moss catches the light and gently sways in the breeze, while the spice and incense fragrance of the fallen pine needles make this an incredible experience for the senses. The bountiful bird song adds the perfect musical accompaniment to nature's composition. Here, one can envisage this beautiful land before it was developed into multi-million dollar homes and golf courses. The home was built by Captain Jack Stoney in the 1790s and was once a grand antebellum plantation house overlooking the Calabog Sound. Legend has it the house changed hands when Stoney lost a poker game to William Baynard in 1890. Baynard, a successful Sea Island cotton plantation owner, raised four children at the mansion with his wife Catherine. When the Union forces invaded Hilton Head Island in 1861, the Baynards evacuated the property. The residence was raided and served as Union headquarters during the Civil War, before being burned. The remaining walls and foundations are notably beautiful because they are made from tabby concrete, which is a type of concrete made by burning oyster shells to create lime, and then mixing it with water, sand, ash, and broken oyster shells. Tabby was used by early Spanish settlers in present-day North Carolina and Florida, and later by English colonists, primarily in coastal South Carolina and Georgia. It glows and catches the light in a way that is hard, strong, and enduring, and simultaneously soft and atmospheric. Truly, this was a building method connected to and of the land and sea.